fresh. So this time I want to do a real cafe program. And like I said, I've already got a bit of it done ahead of time for us. So we're going to go to File Open and we're going to go into, no, well, I'm already in it, my folder where I'm going to do all my stuff. And test is not going to be used, but this lesson two, I'm going to load it up. Now, all it is is kind of like writing right now, and it doesn't look that great. What we're going to do over the next couple of minutes is fix it up so it looks nice. So first of all, that right there, I'd like that to look a lot nicer. Okay, it's kind of dull. So I'm going to use that stuff called headings. Now, do you remember what that meant, headings? Let's go into this layout here. What's that? Layout, there's forms and data, spry, editing, text. Oh, there they are. All right, I'm going to use an H1. There it is, done. But I'd like to have it in the middle. So where is, it? Where is that kind of stuff? Where's centering and stuff like that? Well, if you don't see it down here, let's look up here. Format, maybe? Align, center. It's centered. It's doing all this beautiful right behind. You know, I don't have to do a single thing. How about we change the color of that title? How would you do that? I don't see it in here. Text. Let's go to format up here. Anything about colors? Yeah, there's color. Okay, and I'm going to make it uh, red. And then I'm going to press OK. Now this part in here asks us to create a name for the thing we just did. So I'm just going to call it the red color. And then I'm going to press OK. And it's red. Beautiful. Okay. Now, other things you can do. Uh, what we're going to do next is a little bit different. All right, We haven't done it before. But what we're going to do now is create a table, which is kind of a cool way to organize things. So we're going to create like a, a chart that's going to have some information on it. And it's going to have a, a bunch of information in a nice setup. So I'm going to put myself right there. And I'm going to go back to layout. Okay, now in layout, there's all kinds of neat things. All right, and if we press standard or expanded, we're going to be set up to do a particular thing. All right, so what we're going to do is now that we're in the standard setup, we're going to press insert table, and uh, we're going to pick a, a two by two table. So it's going to have two rows and two columns. And I'm going to press OK, and it's definitely not big enough, so I'm going to stretch it out. Okay, and then I'm going to stretch it this way. And we're going to put stuff in different positions of the table. So watch what I'm going to do. In this first piece, I'm going to grab all of this, and I'm going to drag that into there. Okay, and it went a little bit too far, so I'm going to move it like that. See the stuff down here? I'm going to grab all of that, and I'm going to drag that into the bottom one. Right, and we're starting to sort of organize things in particular setups. Okay, now, what's next? Well, over on the right hand side in a few minutes, what I'd like to do is put a picture of a big coffee bag. But I want it to take up the whole spot. So I'm going to highlight all of it like that, right click, and then I'm going to do this thing called merging. Now, where is merge? There it is, merge cells. So it becomes one big chunk. I like what I've got so far. I'm going to press save right now for a second because I don't want to lose it. And now what I want to do is I want to bring a picture in here. As you're seeing, we're starting to do stuff and it's going pretty fast. Pictures, pictures, where are pictures? I'm going to press common. There's a picture of a tree here. I'm going to press it. And there's cafe and there's all my pictures. Now which one? Yeah, perfect. That's the one I want. I'm going to press OK. Don't really worry about that stuff. There's my copy bag. All right. Don't like the way the coffee bags entered. Maybe you want it in the middle. Maybe you want it over on the right. I'm going to press the coffee bag. And uh, let's see. Down here at the bottom, is there anything that tells us to align it? See that align right there? I'm going to try to change it so it's what? Uh, let's try right. See what it does? Middle. Okay, there's all these different ones. Okay. Uh, top, bottom, absolute bottom. If you want to keep it on the left, that's fine right there. Okay. So you can also center it. Remember how we did centering? You can go up here if you want, and then you can do a line, and you can center. All right. Now it depends the way that the picture was made. If the picture is kind of big, the way that you move it 
will affect the appearance of it. But that's basically how you would do it. Now there's one other feature down here if you want to change the alignment so that it's perfectly centered. All right, you can move that so you you could pick that if you wanted to. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it just like that for now. Okay. Anyway, you've got our coffee bag. You can shrink it in a bit more if you want. Widen it. It's totally up to you. Let's take a look at it for a second. That's kind of cool. Okay. It's got some organization now. But the only problem is those lines look stupid. I don't even want them to be there. So what you can do is you can have things that are called free floating. So it doesn't even look like they're there. So watch what I'm going to do. It's a little bit tricky, but you got to go close to the corner. And I grabbed it all. I'll do it again. Got to go close to the corner. See how that little table shows up underneath the arrow? Press it. You pick the whole thing. Now what you do is see where it says border one? You rub that out and make it a zero. And then you click away. Now when you preview it, always ask you to save. Isn't that cool? You sort of use the table to help you line things up, but then you take it away and it looks like it's floating in space, all nicely controlled. It'd be really tricky to do this without using tables. While we're here, these things right here, I wouldn't mind putting them in a bullet. So I'm going to press it. So they're a nice bullet. Beautiful. Okay. Let's do uh, like a little link to something. So it doesn't matter. You could do a link to anything, but uh, see here it says here customer satisfaction questionnaire, and there's a bunch of other things we could do. Let's highlight that for a second just to show you how they do a link in here. So you highlight that, and then where it says link down here, you would press this little point to file. Or you could press this. Okay, so let's press the file folder. And I'm going to guess that when I press this, I want to go to Lesson 6B HTM. Might not be, right? But I'm just using it as an example. I'm going to double click on it. That's it. Got a link. Let's save it. Let's preview it again. Okay. And now if we press this, it goes to that page. And then you can go back. Right, so that's all it takes to make a link. Let's do one more link. You know the kind of links where you press it and you go somewhere on the internet? So let's let's go to like this one. And so you're gonna have it press it and then go somewhere on the internet. So see where it says link? You do http colon slash slash and then you type in some site. Now this obviously has nothing to do with Kenya, which is a country in Africa, but we're just going to use it as an example. So you press it, and then you press preview. Okay, and what it'll do in a second, hopefully, is it'll go start the browser and actually go to that website. Okay, so you press this while you're in the browser, and it takes off to wherever. Right, and then you can also go back to your website. So slowly you're starting to see how you can develop very neatly a website that has a more sophisticated look, okay, without having to know all the underground stuff. Now, what is the underground? It gets pretty ugly now that we're starting to do this. See those letters TD and stuff like that? That's that table stuff we just did. So this is all that stuff you would have to type behind the scenes if you didn't have this cool program called Dreamweaver. Okay, a couple of last features just to wrap it up. What if you you look at this and you go, you know what, sir, can I have it near the top? I don't want it in the middle there. No problem. You click inside the little cell that you're in of the table, and down here, as I probably showed you before, if you click on vertical and you go top, see how it shifts up to the top? Okay, and horizontal, you could have it in the middle if you want. You can have it go back to the left. I think it looks better on the left. So that was the kind of idea I was doing with this one here, too, where it's centered horizontally. You go, well, sir, it doesn't, but the image itself is so wide that it actually is centered there. And that's basically all the little details you can work with. Other things you can do, there's a little email thing there, right? So you could highlight all this, and you could press that little thing there, which is an email link, and you press OK, and now you've got an email link. So that if you ran it in the browser, now when I do it, 
I'm not going to actually have it start up my uh, email client, but if you pressed it, it would try to email that location. If you notice near the bottom of my screen there, it says mail to that uh, whatever. Okay, so you can put emails in your websites. You can do all kinds of neat stuff. Okay, so that is the second way to create a web page using HTML, but having the HTML really in the background so you don't see it. And there's all kinds of extra things that I haven't totally shown you, but you've got the basics. You can add colors, uh, text, you can center them, you can put a table in a format, you can do links like we did before, and it happens in a matter of seconds. You can do those H things, which are the heading commands, all very quickly and very easily with this program called Dreamweaver. And the most important part is that you're also saving all of this in one folder, and that would be the folder that would be part of your entire website.